Alright, welcome back everyone to Act Zero of Seville. Um, the escape. We need to get into the kitchen a couple times. See whatever it is we're gonna we're supposed to do in there. There we go. We're trying to escape from our own castle with the rebels but outside. There is still some food on the table. Oh, yes, that's true. He's giving us food. We have to go and eat it up. Um But um they're rebels outside, and they Seville's a tyrant, and uh, he's gonna try to escape, and he needs to get into the cellar, where there's a magic portal. Ooh, that was fast. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. High in the clock, super fast, super speed, yeah. Boom. Hello? Where is the little king? Ah, well, I put a fresh portion on the table for him. I like that people have different colors on their subtitles. When every, uh, always when people do that because it definitely makes it extra. Yeah. Good enough for a side dish, maybe. And that's considered a kitchen too. It looks like it will be more appropriate for my torture chamber. All right, let's take some cold press olive oil. My chef's cooking diploma. Five frog legs. Now there's a man who knows his way around the kitchen. Beggars can't be choosers. Hmm, you look like. Dinner. <laughs> Squeak. Okay. Now oh, that's a bit of cold coming out of there. That might be an ideal place to lock someone up in. Ah, I can already hear the cook coming closer. Hmm, okay, we have the olive oil, but like, what else are we supposed to do in here? Zutelor! How many times have I said, the kitchen is mine! Go! Go! Away with you! If the door to the cold store is open, I will freeze to death. I will close her once more. Okay. So are we gonna do something with the cold storage door? We're gonna try to make it so we can't close it. <sighs> cold pressed olive oil from Italians for salads. Empty. All gone. Used to put out the fire in the fireplace. Oh, tragedy. An appropriate means of letting the cook know that I am hungry. My handy multifunction scepter. It can be used as a scepter, a walking stick, a club, and much, much more. All right. Mm. Why? I don't know. Just trying things out. I don't think so. Oh, come on. No. No. A real gem. Still, I hate to think of the fortune I spend on candles. Okay, well, I guess we, we ha need to um, eat the food if we're gonna lure the cook out again. Mm, yum. Mm. Wait, but first. You misclicked. Um. Do we wanna? Um, do something so that the cook freezes to death? <laughs> I don't know. We have olive oil, but I don't really know what we use that for. I guess we could just go into the kitchen again and try our luck.
Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, I have 60 seconds this time. How is that supposed to help? Interesting. Which foul villain tipped over these apples? Uh, I mean, those are desperately needed for my beloved roast pig. Uh. Not a good idea. Okay. I don't think so. Oh wait, can I use olive oil with dark spot? Oh, it's a dark spot. A slippery affair. <laughs> ah, I can already hear the cook coming closer. Oh, because we were sort of done in there, I guess. Okay. You're gonna slip and. Incroyable! You are so stubborn. I've already told you. Out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ow. Please. <laughs> Wonderful. One less problem. Although I will miss his cooking. <laughs> okay. Nah. Oh, I think I'll just leave him in there to cool down a bit. How horrible. <laughs> the spot is now well oiled and extremely slippery. Okay. Not particularly fashionable, but I think it should suffice as a disguise as far as those intellectual underachievers are concerned. Alright. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh wow, he has no hair. <laughs> like or like he has hair but like not on the top of his head. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. Caution wet floor. All right. Look! Here comes the kitchen chef! I thought the kitchen chef was bigger than that. Be quiet, you idiot! He's wearing the chef's hat, so he's the chef! The clothing reminds me more of Seville. Now he even looks exactly like Seville. Hey! That is Seville! Get him! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Don't I Those two useless twits have locked the door again. This is getting to be a habit. But at least I managed to get my beloved torture chamber. Ah, the sweet, sweet memories. But this is neither the time nor the place for nostalgia. All I have to do is find that secret passage and I can leave these rebels behind me. Yep. That's Benjamin. He came with the torture chamber. That's okay. He really talked himself out. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> Alice was chained there a little while ago. Ah, Wonderland. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, there are just so many references. It's awesome. I've had enough of axes for today. Unfortunately, there is no gasoline in the area. Oh, we're gonna open the Iron Maiden? Okay. Ah, wonderful. This is where the mechanism for the secret passage is hidden. I'd forgotten. Oh, okay. Now, I just have to add a lever here to let me operate the mechanism. Oh, easy peasy. 
No time to rest. Mom. No time to rest. Although, as an evil genius, I would be more than happy to use this box to achieve world domination. But there is no way you would ever catch me sitting in front of one. Hmm. That must be the remains of my last detailed interrogation. <laughs> Too uncomfortable for me. Stool of thorns. <laughs> Alright. Well, actually, we can probably use the scepter as the lever, but I want to look around a bit. I don't have any food for Snapper with me. Another secret passage built by my ancestor, Stradivaru Civil. Unfortunately, I never really looked into just how it is open. Unfortunately, I don't have any money with me at the moment. It's an unusual torture implement? Are you sure? Run, Seville, run. Okay, we can use the scepter. Leverless mechanism. <laughs> My scepter fits perfectly, but the machinery is too rusty for me to be able to push the lever down. Good thing we have some olive oil. Fantastic. I've oiled the machinery thoroughly. Now then. I like how it sounds like a sword. Oh! Magic portal. Um. Wait, what? <laughs> ah, Basilius, my loyal servant. Despicable rebels have laid siege to my castle. I know, I know. <laughs> You see, it was I who encouraged that good-natured mob to rise against you. <laughs> what? You treacherous worm. This is all you're doing? Why? All these years you've treated me like dirt, but that's all over now. <laughs> Soon, those good-natured fools out there will set the good-hearted yet simple-minded Gwendolyn on the throne. But don't worry, I already have a plan which will ensure that she never takes the throne. So, I, Basilius, will take up the scepter and begin my evil reign. Perhaps I shall summon a couple of demons to roam the land in my name. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why the bad guys always feel the need to explain their evil plans. You, crackpot! Just wait. I shall escape and my revenge will be horrible indeed. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> bah! My laughter is much more evil than yours, and your days are numbered. Goodbye, Seville! <laughs> I'm starting to run out of escape roads. Everywhere, nothing but traitors. Huh. And no one in sight. Obviously, the villains are hiding in fear. Not surprising, really. After all, I am extremely powerful. Hey, you! Who are you and how did you get into my castle? Ah, Seville, you evil tyrant. At long last, I finally meet my nemesis. Tremble, for I am Ambrosius, paladin and loyal servant of all that is good and right. You wonder how I got in here? Well, then, I shall tell you. Several minutes earlier outside the castle. 
Oh, good and brave citizens of Ferianus, today is our day. I, the heroic paladin Ambrosius, your beloved leader, did not hesitate to take up arms against that despicable tyrant, Seville. It was my strategical genius that allowed wave after wave of you to dash yourselves against the castle walls. You idiot! You, uh, uh, I mean, we will not rest until that tyrant has been captured. Yet before the final battle begins, I would like to address to you a few words of inspiration. Oh, please, not more of that drivel. <laughs> Listen, by the way, another thing I want to say. Evil cannot hide from us. Seville, your days as tyrant has come to an end. Listen, I'll just jump on this lovely well here, and then I shall tell you something, oh, you rebels. I dream of a beautiful and gentle world. A world in which young girls can skip through dark forests without fear of being attacked by big bad wolves. If he'd only put his money where his mouth is. By the way, did I already mention that I am Ambrosius? That's right, THE Ambrosius. I've won a great number of prizes for my body. And, of course, my hair. One thing I know, no one has forgotten the last 20 times he mentioned it at any rate. Earplugs would be so nice. As long as he has pity on us and doesn't tell us about any more of his adventures. Another thing I wanted to say. Did I already mention that I am a paladin? I would never boast, but we paladins are known to be the proudest and noblest knights in all the world. If anyone would like an autograph, now would be a good time. If he doesn't shut up soon, I'm going to kick his proud and noble behind. Evil cannot hide from us. Oh, yes. I, I, I mean, we will beard the monster in his own castle and take him prisoner. Together with my outstanding swordsmanship, my gallant and cat-like movements will leave him no choice but to surrender to me. I, 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 I mean, us. Mm-hmm. Seville, your days as tyrant have come to an end. <laughs> oh, okay. Listen, I'll just jump on this lovely well here, and then I shall tell you something, oh, you rebels. I dream... If he'd only... Seville... Your days as tyrant have come to an end! <laughs> oh. Oh no! Stop! No! Oh! Yep. Like, no water in that well. Not a lot, at least. Comrades! Your leader could use a bit of help here. Okay, sure. You just wait down there. We'll help you real soon. <laughs> this head reminds me of something. A painting, perhaps. I think it was called the Screech or something like that. Or maybe it just reminds me of my paladin trainer. He usually made the same face whenever he saw me. <laughs> the scream? By, um, what's his name? Munk. Hmm, that sounded rather strange. Okay, we want to make music here. Oh, C E F E. Hmm, that's a Okay, that one's broken. Okay, that one's broken. Yeah, there's an F. Yeah, okay. So that one's broken, I guess. There's debris all over the place. The well is obviously in bad need of repair. 
Are you gonna do it? Hmm. Here on the wall, it says C E F E. Was that supposed to be Seville? Mm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Spiders! Good thing I can't actually see any. <coughs> Naturally, a hero of my stature isn't afraid of those repulsive, eight legged, nauseating creatures. Mm -hmm. oh, look. Glowing mushrooms. Delicious looking, glowing mushrooms. Maybe I could try just one. On second thought, my brilliant mind tells me I should wait until after I've caught Seville. Excellent. I'm gonna presume those are not for eating. Guaranteed no problem with my incredible strength. But I, uh, um, <clears throat> I want to sneak in there. Exactly. Therefore, that is not a practical solution. Mm hmm. Sort of demon slaying. Even my outstanding technical skills won't allow me to combine these things. My razor sharp mind refuses. Uh huh. I may stop at nothing, but I still think I'll just leave that the way it is. I think I'll just control myself for now. Oh, come on! No. Okay, but, um. Hmm. Oh, stone debris There's a on, bit floor. Of debris on the floor here. <laughs> Obviously, from that gargoyle up there. There's a bit of de Not a good idea. Oh, come on. Of course it is. Um, how do we um Oh, break off stalactite. Hmm. It's harder to break off than I thought. Even my superhuman strength couldn't break it off. But mm -hmm. the use of force, as usual, is definitely the right answer. Mm-hmm. Ah, I finally have the chance to use my beloved sword. Can you even hold it? Oh. Sort of. Okay, cool. Use it with a stone head. A perfect fit. Every now and then, my mind even manages to surprise me with its incredible brilliance. <laughs> okay, that's an E. D? Okay, we don't need D. C, E, F, E. C E F and E Yeah, I was like, come on. <laughs> there we go. That's how I ended up here. Mm, yes, an interesting story. Now get out of my castle. Otherwise, you'll get a chance to become intimately acquainted with Mr. Scepter here. You really want to face my blade? Well then, draw your sword and taste mine. You know much for my brains, you poor fool. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. There are no clever moves that can help you now. I'll smack you right in the mouth with it. I beg your pardon?
Ouch. <laughs> you know that you can show hide the inventory with I? Oh, I did not, but I want to show it all always. Loading models. This would be a good place to break for an episode, actually. Right, I'll do it. I'll be back. <laughs> 